Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Voris. We're going to continue today with some suggestions about what faithful, concerned Catholics can do to challenge and confront dissent in the church. To pick up, however, from last week, remember the most important reality in confronting dissent in the church is to always be working on your own and my own personal holiness. This is the first charge of a faithful disciple of Christ. Next, again as we said last week, know your faith. Be able to explain it, defend it, promote it, show forth the beauty of it, advance the truth that living in the faith makes this life much more bearable and in the end saves your soul. So with those realities recapped, let's move on to another point. Your public prayer life must help you increase in the faith. It must support and undergird what you study and immerse yourself in in private. This is the problem with poor liturgy in so many parishes. When the priest or the liturgy committee engineers a mass more Protestant than Catholic, this is a detriment to your faith. What do we mean by more Protestant than Catholic? Simple. When the emphasis of the mass is on anything else except Almighty God. That includes the priest who makes jokes and talks about himself or something that happened to him, etc. This also includes him sitting in the middle of the sanctuary as though the mass is about him. It also includes the choir. They are there to aid in the worship of God and enhance the mystery of the Mass, not to entertain. To this end, it is inappropriate to be applauding during or after Mass. Pope Benedict has said about applause at Mass, quote, Wherever applause breaks out in the liturgy because of some human achievement, it is a sure sign that the essence of liturgy has totally disappeared and been replaced by a kind of religious entertainment, end quote. Don't clap at Mass. Mass is about one thing and one thing only, the representation of the divine sacrifice offered for our redemption. We are called to be participators in the highest expression of this divine love, and that doesn't mean being lectors and ushers and greeters and readers and donut committee. Participation means being completely present, mind, body, and soul, to the great mystery of the faith unfolding before our eyes to be a witness to the act of divine reparation of which we are the beneficiaries. If you got to a parish where anything else is emphasized over this, then you need to consider changing parishes. If you are a parent, particularly a father, you have responsibility to ensure your children are having their faith uplifted, not subtly eroded by a lack of proper emphasis on the sacrifice. Now, this may mean a complete reordering of your life when it comes to weekly Mass. So be it. But you do not really have a choice in this. Now, you, how you worship affects how you believe. If the Mass in your parish is more about the priest or the choir or the community, then your emphasis will be on man and not on God. That will always lead to a deterioration in the faith and certainly in some circumstances a loss of faith. Mass, mass must be celebrated and it must be celebrated reverently. The priest is the one who brings us to God. The Mass does not belong to him, nor does it belong to the liturgy committee. It is given to us. The priest does not get to make up his own words. It's not his Mass. The lector doesn't get to substitute gender-neutral language when doing the readings. It's not his Mass. The choir doesn't get to change the words to the responsorial to make the response more inclusive. It's not their Mass. In short, the parish is, for most of us, the center of our public Catholic life. If that place is more Protestant than Catholic, make an effort to change it in whatever circumstances present themselves to you. This will most likely be a long, hard slog. But find others in your parish who are as bothered as you are, and trust me, they exist. Get together, form a group, study and discuss the issues, go to the pastor, show up at the liturgy or worship committee meetings, come armed with the proper church documents, do whatever you can. But failing that, vote with your feet. The dissent in the church has become so encrusted that it will take a huge effort to reverse it. While we acknowledge that, it does not let faithful Catholics who know the truth off the hook. We never get to walk away from a battle just because it's a hard fight. In fact, that's when we are called to fight all the more. God bless you. I'm Michael Voris. 
Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.